What's going on, y'all? Lockout man, right here in the truck, getting ready to do uh, another on the 30 video right here in the truck. As you can see, I'm getting everything set up. It takes <laughs> it takes time to set everything up and then time to tear everything down. But give me a minute so that I can uh, set everything up and actually get my thoughts together on this on this topic that I'm about to delve into. I like that word, delve. Delve. That's I, that's that's part of my forte now, delve. I want to use that all the time. But but anyway, first thing first thing first, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, share and hit that bell and all that good stuff while I'm getting while I'm getting myself ready. So while I'm doing that, y'all could be doing that for me. All right, so let me get uh let me get it together, and we'll get right up into this topic, which I think is a pretty good topic because it's it was posted on Facebook and it's just it's all over the groups. Everybody is talking about this particular thing right here. Let's get into it. So here's some behind the scenes of me converting my bunk area into my studio. First thing first, I don't know if you guys can see, but I already have this table right here set up with my boom arm right here, and then there's my green screen right there. Yo, this is Lockout Men, and I want to give a super shout out to my girl, Queen Trucking. Yo, if you guys not hip to this young lady right quick, head over to her YouTube channel and subscribe to this young lady. She's my new favorite YouTube trucker right now. If you guys want to get shout out in the next video, yo, like the current video and in the comments, hashtag shout out and you'll get shout out in the next video. Peace. What's going on guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30. Welcome to another slash YouTube backslash podcast for that ass. What's going on y'all? Well, I'm hoping you guys have a beautiful blessed day today. I hope you guys drove and wherever you got to was all safe and sound. I made it to Kentucky. I am here at the well, I'm across the street from the Denny's, but I'm here at this truck stop that had plenty of parking. Unfortunately, the Flying J and the Loves, they was both full. And it was about, what, 5 o'clock when I, when I came to shut down. So, all right, so strange thing happened. All right, sorry about that. I had to go and, uh, <laughs> I had to go and change my, uh, I had to go and change my my clock. And speaking of clock, let me listen. Have you guys ever got in the situation that y'all forgot to go off duty or go into the sleeper berth and y'all left y'all clock on duty or it was still on, you know, left you on duty for whatever reason? Had that ever happened to you guys before? Well, it happened to it it happened to me plenty of times before when I worked at the previous company where I was at but I was able to go in and edit my time you just can't you can't edit the uh the drive line but if if you're on the off duty or on duty or a sleeper berth you can edit that so let's say if you was on duty and you forgot to go off duty you can go back and go off duty and then you can certify your logs but let me tell you what happened. So I, so yesterday, 
I get to my I get to my delivery. The same place where I delivered to was the same place where I was picking up. So instead of instead of going back on the clock to move the truck up the street, I went off duty PC and moved the truck up the street. But while I was doing that, there was like it it was like a little breakfast spot down the street because my pickup my pickup was like later in the day. So I just went on here, went up there, got something to eat and came back and got my load. But see, here's the here's the problem. I forgot to go back on duty. Now, when you move the truck, the clock automatically runs. When 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 the wheels when when it senses that the truck is moving, it puts you in the drive line automatic. And once it goes into the drive line, there's no editing the drive line. So you pretty much effed up. So word of advice for you new jacks out there, before you go off a break, before you come off a break or go on break, give it a couple of minutes after your time is up. You know what I'm saying? So if you're taking your 30 minute break, give it a couple of minutes after the 30 minutes before you click back on or before you move the truck, because sometimes it goes down by the second. So let's say you let's say you'll see 30 minutes, but you probably might be 30 point 30 seconds and you move the truck. It messes up your whole time. You know what I'm saying? Same thing when you on your 34. Make sure that after that after that minute you move the truck because if you move the truck before that that second is up and you just got finished doing the 34, guess what you have to do? You have to do a you have to do it all over again. Or or you might be lucky, you might have some recaps coming back, but if you don't, you have to do it all over again. So this morning, or last night, I I, I drove. You know, I wasn't I wasn't thinking that I was still on off duty PC. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm in my in my drive clock, it shows like how much time that you got left on your drive and how much time you have left on your work. Now, before the change, I was know, I know how much time I have on my drive, the work, and the 30, or I'm sorry, and the 40. And it was another, it was another set on there too. But unfortunately, we, have, we all have to be ELD compliant by December 17th. So that's why I got the new clock. So I'm driving by and doing all this good stuff. And then all of a sudden, I get to my shutdown spot and I go to inspect and I'm noticing it says off duty PC. And I'm like, oh, man, I forgot to. OK, no problem. Let me go ahead and uh, change it back to change it from the time I started driving all the way up until the time I came here to shut down. So I tried to go and change the change the off duty PC from the one point to drive because, you know, I drove. And then I was going to change it, you know, change the other one to shut down for the night. Well, guess what? This morning I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And plus I was I was afraid that if I start to drive and I I couldn't uh change it, I thought that was gonna interfere with with my drive hours for the day. But then I also thought about if I got pulled into the um uh, if I got pulled into the scale for whatever reason they will look at my clock and be like, yo, man, you, you drove illegal yesterday. You drove about a good five, six hours off duty. And I didn't mean to do that. So, of course, I had to call my, my law department this morning. My man, Doug, shout out to him. 
And uh, he got me together. You know, I, I told him, I was like, look, I tried to do this and tried to do that. But then I just went back and I just I, I changed everything back. And I was like, look, man, I'll let you do it. So he went in there, did this little magic on his computer and tit, 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 boom. I was like, cool. Everything, everything set. So in the future, <laughs> in the future, make sure that you don't forget, you know, make sure you pay attention to when you go off duty, make sure you come back on duty. And when you go on PC, make sure you come back off of PC. Because if you go on PC and you drive and you forgot and, you know, you just probably had to just call your, call your law department or something like that. I don't know how it works over there with you guys, but with us, you know, I got a pretty, I got a pretty good guy. And, you know, he helped me out of the damn thing. All right. So today's topic, man, look. I'm on Facebook and um I'm on Facebook and I'm I'm in one of the groups, you know, I'm I'm in several groups. So if you guys catch me in in one of in in one of these groups that I'm in, shout me out, man. You know, holler at me. Lock out man. But I probably might be up under being that this is Facebook, it's up under my government name. So you guys will probably know my government name if you come up in if if you come up in one of the Facebook groups and if you if you click on one of my videos in the Facebook group, then you know who I am. But this particular this particular thing came through the Facebook group today. And it's been it's been the topic of all the groups. So I'm in black CDL holders. So this um, this right here came through the group it, it it was a qualcomm message to i guess a driver i'm not sure who it is i'm not sure what company everybody is speculating that is and this is alleged allegedly you know what i'm saying i don't know allegedly they saying that this is swift i don't know it could be anybody but they saying that this is uh swift allegedly all right so in the Qualcomm message, all right, this is what it says in the Qualcomm message. It says, you have chains on your truck. We cannot afford to have you down or the load to be days late due to the weather. If we can drive, we will. Whether it's, whether it's be five miles per hour or the appropriate speed, as long as we are safe, it's trucking. It's the job. Let's do it. Thanks all. What do you guys think about that right there? I mean, this message came through. I guess a driver must have must have typed in and said, hey, um, the weather is bad out here and we're going to shut down until the the weather becomes good but this come from a driver manager or a, a fleet manager telling the driver like yo i don't care about the weather we only care about getting this product to where it needs to go okay so if you saying that you don't care about the weather aren't you saying that you don't care about that driver's well-being either so what you're telling what you're telling me the driver is that this load is more important than my life right now so i got so in order for me to make a judgment call and say i'm going to shut down for safety reasons you're going to turn around and, and 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 reprimand me for doing that i don't get it lot of comments lot of lot of comments on this particular right here like for example this came from twisted truckers and it says they said we don't know what company sent this fleet mess fleet wide message out so if you received this message recently message us privately okay okay we we're gonna they the twisted trucker don't know don't don't know that uh don't know who sent this out but i got some 
I I picked out a couple of a couple of messages from the from the group. Like right here. Uh this is from a community post in CDL Life. If you guys don't have that app right there, that's the truckers app just like Facebook but it's for truckers. This driver says, "Morning drivers, if you don't feel that it's not safe for you to drive, don't risk your life or the lives of others because your fleet manager is a bully. Call it in and stick to your guns. As the driver, you're the captain of the ship. And everything else is on you, not safety or dispatch. Be safe out there. It is. It is on you. It's, it's on me as a driver to make that judgment call whether or not I'm going to risk my life and my health and maybe the load just to get the just to get the product out there think about it wouldn't wouldn't the uh wouldn't the company would rather have they product there safe or have they product in a ditch think about it think about that ditch safe hmm this one right here Okay. This one right here, she's this is now this <laughs> this is a reporter that actually came to one of the Facebook groups and I think this is a uh, Swift. She's a she's a reporter for Freightways. And she says, "I'm a reporter for Freightways. I'm trying to confirm some info about a Qualcomm message." that was sent to drivers about driving incumbent weather. <laughs> that goes to show you how how this 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 simple Qualcomm message is blowing up. Basically what it's saying what what that company is saying is or their their fleet managers is saying is fuck you. You 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 ain't nothing but a you ain't nothing but a person in the seat that drives our trucks. We don't care about your safety. We care about the product. We care about the product. That's that's what they care about. This one right here. Whoops. Okay. Wrong one. What? Is that the same one? All right. Now this one. Now this driver right here, he's... He says, uh, he he's like, he's on the company side. He's he's on the fleet manager side with this. Dude comes off and he says, off your ass and on your feet. Can't make no damn money parked in the snow while the rest of the trucks is rolling. Dude, of, you're not going to make as much money. You know what I'm saying? But you do get, you you do get layover. You will get something. You know what I'm saying? It's all about being safe out here. What you gonna do? You you wanna risk your life and the and lives are of others? Really? Really? Come on now. I know a lot of a lot of you guys wanna you know wanna get there and keep the wheels turning and all like that. But sometimes when the weather is like super bad, throwing chains on a truck to you know to get up you know bad uh road conditions sometimes just isn't worth it think about it it's just not worth it this driver right here says this is wrong if it's unsafe to drive you park it ain't no load worth your life or anyone else's that's true that that is that is so 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 true so think about that guys think about that new jacks when you come out here um realize that you're gonna you you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna come across some bad weather problems it's slick roads icy roads black ice uh white out conditions all that you're gonna experience all of that but it's up to you to feel if you're not comfortable driving in these type of conditions 
then it's not worth your life to try to try to make that money. All right. All right. Well, that's it. I want you guys to put your comments in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Of, let me know what you think of this situation right here. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think about it. It's crazy, right? That that a fleet manager was sent out a message of this magnitude basically saying, forget you drivers, get our product there. Uh, just get our product there. Now, it would have been better if he would have came on there and says, yo, um, at your discretion, just get our product there the best way you can. That would have probably went over a lot better than coming off being the bully. All right. All right, guys. So, like I said, that's it. Thanks for joining me today on the 30. Yo, I would get back at you guys with another video. If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content. You know what I'm saying? Lockout, man. You can also catch me on the podcast. All of them. I'm on all of them now. You, Whatever you listen to, just find Lockout, man, and... Well, lockout men i'm sorry and i'm right there but the but the main one you can find me at is anchor.fm dot i mean backslash lockout men until next time y'all y'all have a blessed night and i will come back at you again with another video peace